and it's grown since this morning it's hot and it's hard basically i called if i can get an earlier appointment my first appointment's in 16 days and um they asked for my symptoms and then they said they'll call back and then they asked if i had a temperature and i just took my temperature i didn't even know i had a temperature 101.5 and took a COVID test so I can hopefully eliminate that and now I have to wait 15 minutes and it's like I'm on minute one. Oh, they're calling back. Gotta let you go. I'm going to the hospital. They're probably going to have to surgically remove it tonight. Why? It sounds like what I have is an infection and the fact that I have a fever, my COVID test come back negative. All that jazz. This morning it was only a little dot and remember how I was like I want to get your opinion about something. And now it's like so much more. So the sizers have become infected? Yes. Here's the update. Earlier today, I saw that the spot that was red for like a day or two, that was like the size of a Boston baked bean, is now like the size of a quarter. So this morning I put on a compression bra and this afternoon I took it off because I was feeling pain on my left breast turns out that it's now big um, red and I called the doctor and the doctor said <laughs> no more jumping no um, the doctor said take my temperature I took my temperature and I have a temp there's an infection is what they're thinking so I'm on my way to have surgery like but I just found out about it like five seconds ago so it hasn't really quite set like sunk in these are the sizers that are jacking up it feels like one of the sizers on my breast this is what expanders it feels like the expanders are like is has flipped over i don't know if any this has happened to anyone who's had this but that's what it feels like and i remember a woman in the store telling me you know what the sizers or expanders whatever they're called are going to feel like rocks and then it's going to feel like pillows when you get your implants and so when she said that that's all that i thought it was i was like oh my expanders feel like rocks no it's more hi for tara I'm like the only one here, um, but I have to wait out in the lobby until I get my COVID test back. So it feels kind of eerie. This place is usually packed. Pretty eerie. Okay, update. It looks like I'm going into surgery tonight and I'm not worried. It's definitely infected. Um, I just spoke with a the surgeon. They said that it's 8.30 right now. I'll probably go into surgery by midnight. Glad I brought an overnight bag. I'm going to show you what's in my overnight bag. I need to like, keep my mind busy. Looks like I'm having a hospital slumber party. Glad I brought my backpack. Okay, okay, okay thank you. Okay. I just got a room. It's nine. Nine twenty-five. I opened up a bag of che cheese its because they said most likely. I won't be able to eat anything after midnight. I never even had dinner. I just came here. I brought snacks in my bag. It'll suffice. Cheese heads. Like, I wish I brought like, fruit or. It was just, it happened so fast that I just shoved whatever I could find in my bag. 
cashews, almonds, and dried cranberries. If I have to do this all over again, meaning if I have to have another surgery to have a sizer put in, I think I might just want to say I don't want breasts. It's too much. It's not worth it. I don't know. A lot to think about. Update, they are bringing me a gown and I will be changing into that gown because I'm going for a CT scan at 10.40 p.m. Let's get her done. Hello. Hi. My name is Robert. I guess um, I need to use the restroom and I was sorry um, I'm just I need to use the restroom can I um... hello hello <laughs> hi um, I'm wondering if I can use the restroom without my big IV attached to me we try not to to end the line I understand just... okay so then I just got to take the whole thing with yeah. me yeah you want me to help set you up uh, yeah, sure. Let's get this party started. Look at this. Look at this beast. I'm taking this with me to the bathroom. She's a beast. I did it. Yes. Day two, I'm getting a room. And they said they can't take you until 9 p.m. tonight. So um, she said you can have breakfast if you'd like. Woohoo! Yes. There is a menu Wait, here. Wait, so they can't take me till 9 p.m. tonight, which means I can't have, I won't, the earliest I'll have surgery is 9 p.m. tonight. Correct. That's the earliest you'll have surgery. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she said, just don't eat after 1 p.m. I already put that in your chart. Okay. Hi, Maria. I, I'm hoping that I can get a um, breakfast order. Um, I, I, I'm ordering for myself. I'm, I am the patient. <laughs> Get eggs your way with um, soy riso. This is one of the best breakfasts I've ever had in a hospital. This is oatmeal. Going for a little bit of a walk, but I have to take this big thing with me, so. Yeah. It appears that my 9 p.m. surgery made is moving up to 7 p.m. That makes me happy and um, anything can happen in the surgery. So here's the outcomes. They get in and they see that the infection is not that bad. And if that's the case, then they're gonna be putting in implants tonight and I don't have to do this again. Best case, that's the best case. I almost just wanna say the best case because I don't wanna think negative on anything else. Second choice would be there's too much infection so they have to replace the bag refill it put it in and I still have to have another surgery for implants that's number two number three get one of those drains back because the infection is just so bad so y'all I don't know what the outcome is going to be. I really don't. And I know it's very vain for me to wish for breast implants. <laughs> but that means the infection isn't as bad as I think. I just want to be done. Get back to being mom, you know. Either way, I'm grateful. Let's get it done. We'll see. When you're having a surgery, this is what you need to bathe with. This is my shower. See, this is me standing right outside my shower. Um, I can. Uh, whatever, y'all. Let's. I, if I'm not doing any more walking. No, you're not. Sounds good to me. Just when you get here. Then I'll need to walk there. That's yeah. fine.
Okay, it's 8 p.m. Off to surgery. More nerves than anything. I still haven't talked with the anesthesiologist. We'll see. <laughs> It's like a roller coaster ride yeah. on your back. In the elevator! Alright, I'm about to go in. Let's do this.